Another quick video for you. If you have a laptop that does not power on, what is the cause? Well, first thing you want to do is go through, make sure your power adapter is definitely plugged into the wall. This one is. Make sure it's plugged into a working outlet. Sometimes an outlet can go bad or there's a short in it. So make sure your power adapter is plugged into something that works. Check your power adapter itself. Uh, in this case, you see we have the little blue LED on it indicating there's power to it. And that's putting power out. Then go ahead and check your connection onto the laptop itself. You go ahead and plug it in there. And it should go through and connect nice and solid. If you got any kind of wiggle in it, um, having a slight amount, I mean, literally as much as you like see my finger move there just a little bit, that's, that's okay. Um, at the same time you're wiggling it with it plugged in, check your lights on the front of the laptop. Uh, see if those go on or off. If they're going on and off as you're wiggling it, that means your, <coughs> excuse me, that means that your AC adapter uh, power jack in here is actually loose and needs to be resodded or has possibly gone bad. Now, with all those quick things out of the way, uh, go through and try taking your battery out. Usually you have a, a single release for the lock. You just basically hold it over and slide the battery out. Uh, in this case, we actually have a lock and then the release. So one will actually lock it there. You know, that's locked so it can't come out at all. If you do it, you notice this edge kind of comes out a little bit more. And usually these, you have to kind of hold them in and slide it out. Take your battery out. Hold in the power button on the computer for about 30 seconds. Put the battery back in. Plug your cable back up. Make sure that works. If that still doesn't work, then your likely case is that you have a bad power adapter. Now this one here, I'm going to spoil it for you and tell you this one's bad. Now you're probably wondering why is it bad if it's got the light on. Well this one if you go through and hook it up to a multimeter, voltmeter, whatever you want to call it, and test the outside connection and the inside, uh, you put one node on the outside, one on the inside, you can go through and measure the voltage on this. In this case, I'm getting about 5 volts out of this. That sounds pretty low to me. So go through and check the back of your laptop and you'll see the actual voltage uh, that's required. As you can see, 15 volts. 5 volts is a bit short of that. So while this adapter is putting out power, it's not putting out enough juice for this laptop to even charge. So that's its whole issue. So go through, get another power adapter, and that will probably take care of that issue. But again, most common issues with a laptop not turning on, Power adapter not hooked up right uh, into a wall or a bad outlet. Uh, not enough juice out of the adapter. Uh, sometimes the system locks up. It's stuck in like a uh, sleep or suspend mode. So you take the battery out, discharge the system by holding in your power button. And that's make sure your power cord is disconnected when you do that. Otherwise, you're just wasting your time. Then you hook it back up, try it again. Uh, your system isn't charging due to a bad AC um, adapter connector um, port <laughs> I, I can't think of the word at the moment, forgive me um, <clears throat> AC power jack, thank you the AC power jack could be bad so testing that with some wiggle in it and checking your lights on the front that will tell you if that's a possibility there and uh, like I said before, checking the lights on the front of your system when you've got that plugged in is important because if these are not lighting up when you charge plug in the charger as in this case that's an indicator of it as well as I wiggle it see nothing happens 
clear shot that this is just not charging. And I can put it back on your adapter. So there you go. That's how to quickly diagnose not powering up issues with your laptop, any laptop really. And again, the multimeter turns out to be your best friend. Until next time, i uh, see you later. If you got any questions, feel free to post them below or send me a message. Take care.